Looking to troubleshoot car issues on your own? How does the OBD2 scanner code reader make it easier to understand and fix engine codes? Today, we're diving into a must-have tool for car owners and DIY mechanics. Foxwell NT301 Car OBD2 Scanner Code Reader If you're tired of paying for costly diagnostics, this compact tool is about to change the game for you. Let's talk about OBD. Onboard Diagnostics is an automotive electronic system which is capable of a self-diagnosis, indicating and reporting the possible problem within the vehicle. It gives you or the technician the opportunity to easily access the information about the health of your car and solve the problem. Let's break down some of its main features. Large 2.8-inch LCD display. With bright color display, reading codes is easy even in low light. Reads and clears codes. This scanner doesn't just read codes, it allows you to clear them too. You'll get real-time data, including vehicle speed, engine RPM, fuel system status, and more. No battery needed. It powers directly from your vehicle's OBD2 connector, so no batteries or charging needed. I-M Readiness I-M Readiness option allows to view a snapshot of the operations for the emission system on OBD2 slash EOBD vehicles. Check engine light. Reads and checks diagnostic trouble codes that triggers the check engine light. Freeze frame data. Captures and displays freeze frame data to provide a snapshot of specific parameters when a malfunction is detected. Live data check. Live Data Menu lets you view, record, and playback real-time PID data from the Electronic Control Module. Wide Compatibility Works with most OBD2 EOBD complaint vehicles from 1996 and newer including both domestic and import models. Why you need the OBD2 code reader? Through OBD2, you can quickly scan and clear engine fault codes, fix the problem with your car, and turn off check engine light with ease. Check your car health condition frequently with the scanner to avoid breakdown in sudden on-road. Enjoy your journey. I-M Readiness Monitoring Emission Control Systems perform regular checks during vehicle operation and store diagnostic trouble codes when issues are detected. Quickly get the fault code's definition. No Google search. Quick emission inspections. Get ready for the annual smog check. View real-time data with engine on. About the code reader. LCD display. Red LCD display. Down key. Right scroll key. Enter key. Help key. USB port. Up key, left scroll key, one click, I am, readiness key, back key, power switch. Let's see where is data link connector is located. The data link connector is a 16 cavity port for connecting diagnostic tools to the vehicle's computer. Typically found within 12 inches of the dashboard center on the driver's side, some models may have it behind the ashtray or labeled elsewhere. How to use the code reader. Ensure the vehicle is turned off before starting. Locate the OBD2 port. This is typically found under the dashboard near the driver's seat, often below the steering wheel or near the footwell. The port is usually a 16-pin connector. Plug the code reader's cable into the OBD2 port. The scanner will power up once connected. Turn the key to the ON position and start the engine. The code reader should power up once plugged in. Follow the prompts on the scanner's screen, which may involve pressing buttons like ENTER or OK. 
Once the device is connected, select Read Codes or a similar option. The scanner will display any stored diagnostic trouble codes, DTCS, that indicate issues with the vehicle. Each code corresponds to a specific issue in your vehicle. After you've noted the codes, you can use the Clear Codes function on most code readers to reset the vehicle's engine control unit and turn off the check engine light. After finishing, turn off the vehicle, unplug the code reader from the OBD2 port, and turn off the reader. If you are interested in picking up the Foxwell NT301 Car OBD2 Scanner Code Reader, I've got you covered. Just check out the link in the description below to grab it on Amazon. Compatibility with your vehicle model before purchasing. It supports nine protocols compatible with most 1996 US-based, 2000 EU-based and Asian cars, light trucks, SUVs, as well as newer OBD2 and CAN vehicles, both domestic and foreign. It can also be used for some motorcycle OBD2 system diagnosis. What is freeze frame data? In simple words, when a vehicle's computer detects a fault and triggers the check engine light, it records freeze frame data. This data is a snapshot of various sensors and components to help identify the problem's cause. In some cases, it's required by law to store emission-related details. Viewing OBD2 Freeze Frame Data What is IM Readiness? O2 Monitor Test Component Test Printing View Vehicle Information A unique set of 17 numbers and letters. Your VIN holds all kinds of information about your car. View Life Data Live data gives you real-time feedback on some of the functions of your car. These include fuel trim and operating temperature values. This is one of the most useful features of OBD2 scanners. Language. Use the up-down scroll buttons to select the language. Unit of measure. Choose the unit of measure. Specifications. Onboard Diagnostic Trouble Codes This list contains standard diagnostic trouble codes, DTCs, that are used by some manufacturers to identify vehicle problems. Diagnostic trouble codes are how OBD2 identifies and communicates to technicians where and what onboard problems exist. The first number in the DTC indicates whether the code is an SAE generic code applies to all OBD2 systems or is specific to the vehicle manufacturer. The remaining three numbers provide information regarding the specific vehicle system and circuit.
Now, we've covered some of the diagnostic trouble codes you might encounter with the MotoPower MP69033 OBD2 scanner. This tool makes it easy to get insights into your car's performance, diagnose issues quickly, and even save on repair costs. The codes provide this list are generic codes that may not apply to all vehicles. Vehicle manufacturers may use manufacturer-specific DTC codes that are different from the shown codes. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos on car diagnostics and maintenance. Thanks for watching.